Now that the year is over, let me share with you 20 music production podcasts to listen to in 2021. What is going on, my friend? Chris Alim here from Mixdown Online. I hope you are well and safe. First of all, I want to wish you a happy new year. I know that the 2020 wasn't the best year for a lot, so that's an even bigger reason to wish you all the best for 2021. So I'm going to start this one up by talking about podcasts. I'm a huge podcast consumer. I listen to podcasts almost every day. Actually, I do listen to a podcast at least once a day. Podcasts are becoming more and more popular. A lot of people are consuming podcasts. It's an industry that is growing very fast. And the cool thing is that most podcasts out there are free. You download an app on your phone and you listen to the podcast of your choice. There's a podcast on every topic out there. It's just crazy. You can listen to a podcast at any time, anywhere that you want. It could be while taking a walk, while relaxing, while exercising, when you're on the road, when you're traveling. And I can also listen to a podcast while being super attractive to my wife. So let me share with you those 20 music production podcasts to listen to in 2021. I divided these 20 podcasts into five categories, which are uh, interview-based podcast for the home studio, recording and mixing tips, mastering tips and tricks, business and entrepreneurship, and also songwriting and music making. Let's start with the first category, interview-based podcasts for the home studio. So the first podcast I'm going to talk to you about is the Recording Studio Rockstars by my good friend Lidge Shaw. Now, this is the first music production-related podcast that I, uh, that I listened to, I think that it was like five years ago. So Lidge has been doing his podcast for quite a while. On his podcast, Lidge interviews a bunch of people from the music industry, like audio engineers, uh, music producers producers, studio owners, and brings you inspiring stories, tips and tricks, and also studio insights. And the goal is always to improve your mixing and recording skills and become a rock star of the recording studio, like Lidge likes to say. The next one on my list, Working Class Audio by Matt Boudreau, another very good friend of mine. Now, Matt looks at music production and engineering with the working class perspective. And this is what makes this podcast pretty interesting and unique. He interviews experts in the audio world, which are both famous and not so famous. They talk about life, business, money, how they are able to make it as an audio engineer, and also how to balance life and work, uh, which is quite interesting. Interesting. So, working class audio. The next podcast to listen to is the Bobby Owinsky Inner Circle. Bobby Owinsky has been around for quite a while. He's an audio engineer. He also wrote a bunch of books talking about audio engineering, which are quite impressive. And now he has a podcast. And his podcast has been going on for also uh, like four or five years, if not more. Bobby also has an interview-based podcast. But on top of that, the first part of every podcast are news from the music industry. And this is actually something that I like a lot about his podcast. All those music industry news, analysis, tips, uh, reviews, and so on. So that is the Bobby Owinsky Inner Circle podcast. Next is the Master Your Mix podcast from my fellow Canadian, Mike Indovina. Mike will interview music producers and audio engineers and will also share with you um, some mixing and recording tips. This is perfect for the home studio. Next, we have Tape Up Podcast. I don't know if you heard of Tape Up Magazine, but this is the podcast version in a way. They will interview people from the music industry like audio engineers, producers, and also artists in a discussion type of approach. So this is another very good podcast for the home studio. URM is the next Next podcast I want to talk to you about. This one stands for Unstoppable Recording Machine. Even if this podcast has been around for quite a while, I just started to listen to it a couple of weeks ago. From what I get so far, this one is more oriented towards uh, rock and metal producers and engineers. Very, very cool podcast. The last one in this category is Broken Records. I'm also new to this one. 
And this is a very cool type of podcast. It's based a bit more on a discussion type podcast. This one is hosted by Justin Richmond, and one of the interviewers is famous producer Rick Rubin. And that actually caught my attention. And this is one of the reasons why I started to listen to this podcast. And so far, so good. I really like that discussion type of approach um, that they have when they interview uh, people from the music industry. They interview artists, producers, engineers. Uh, but it's always with that discussion type of approach, which makes this podcast very chill and fun to listen to. Now let me show you podcasts that will mainly share with you recording and mixing tips. The first one on the list, the UBK Happy Fun Time Hour. This one is a special one. I've been listening to this podcast for years. This one is hosted by Gregory Scott and Nathan Daniel. It's a funny one. I'm telling you, this is a cool podcast to listen to. Uh, Gregory also has a YouTube channel, the Kush Audio YouTube channel. I'm going to leave the link on top and down below. Um, Kush Audio is also a plugin company, and the guy behind it is Gregory Scott. Um, Nathan Daniel on his side is a music producer. He's also a plugin developer. So they both have a lot of knowledge to share on their podcast. This one is more of a Q&A type podcast where Greg and uh, Nathan um, answers a lot of questions that were sent by the audience. Uh, so very entertaining, funny. The chemistry going on between the host makes this podcast very fun and entertaining. The next one is the Recording Lounge, another podcast that has been around for quite a while. This one is hosted by Kendall Osborne. This is a podcast where Kendall shares a bunch of recording, mixing, and music production tips for the home studio. The next one on my list, Sonic Scoop, which is also a YouTube channel hosted by Justin Collini. This one is also oriented towards uh, sharing mixing, mastering tips, uh, recording and production tips. He does some interviews once in a while, but most of the time it's all about sharing knowledge and giving very good content for you to use in your home studio. Studio. Very, very good podcast, and Justin knows his stuff. The Home Recording Made Easy podcast is hosted by David Vignola, which is a very good friend of mine. David was actually on one of my live stream last spring. I'm going to leave the link on top if you want to watch this one out. David also has a YouTube channel, which I'm going to link down below. And his podcast is, it's actually a new podcast. Um, it's been around for just a few months, uh, but it's oriented towards the home studio. So mixing tips, recording tips for the home studio. Very good podcast to listen to, especially if you're recording your own music. The last one in this category is the Home Studio Corner podcast by my good friend, Joe Gilder. You've heard of Joe Gilder before. He also has an amazing YouTube channel. Check him out. I'm going to leave the link down below. Uh, Joe is a natural. He's a very good communicator. His podcast is oriented towards the home studio owner, the home musician, sharing production tips, recording tips, mixing tips, but with the home musician in mind. So this is, again, a very good podcast. And this is also a podcast that I've been listening to for quite a while now. Joe has been producing his podcast for years. At some point, he took a year off, came back, and now it's been like two, three months since he posted the last podcast. So we'll see what's going to happen for 2021. Hopefully, he's going to get back to it because this is actually one of my favorite music production podcasts because I just love that um, home studio and home musician perspective on things. You know, So Home Studio Corner podcast, check it out. The next category has to do with mastering tips and tricks related podcasts. The first one on my list, The Mastering Show with Ian Shepard. I love Ian. Ian is a good friend of mine. Ian is an amazing mastering engineer. His podcast talks about all aspects of mastering, uh, everything to help you to improve your mastering skills. So if this is something that you like, you want to know more about mastering, I would say that the mastering show is a must. The next one in this category is the Attack and Release Show, hosted by Matt Garber and Sam Moses. Both are mastering engineers and they like to talk about the music industry, gear, and of course, mastering. 
So the attack and release show. The next category turns around business and entrepreneurship. And there's only one podcast that I have in this category. And this one is the Six Figure Home Studio Podcast, hosted by my good friends, Brian Hood and Chris Graham. This is an amazing podcast that will turn around the music business, entrepreneurship, how to start your studio, your music career, how to deal with clients and stuff like that. It's a very unique type of podcast and it's very enjoyable. And the chemistry between Brian and Chris is quite nice also. Um, both are very good communicators and their podcast is amazing. Now, note that this podcast is on pause right now. And from what I've heard from the last episode is that they are planning to rebrand the podcast to just extend uh, the niche, you know? So instead of just focusing on only musicians, they will focus on the creatives, you know? So that can be producers, home musicians, videographers, f photographers, uh, you know, graphic designers, and so on. So everything related to the creative is gonna be covered in the new version of the podcast. So we'll see what's gonna happen with the new version of the Six Figure Home Studio podcast in 2021. The last category is songwriting and music making. The first podcast I want to talk to you about is Sound Exploder. This is one of the biggest music production podcasts out there. You know, the vibe that we get out of this podcast is quite amazing. Song Exploder is a podcast where musicians take apart their songs piece by piece, sharing the behind the scenes, the uh, songwriting and production process of their songs, which is quite amazing and super well done. Song Explorer is so popular that they also have their Netflix show. Yeah, I'm serious. They have a show on Netflix. Check it out. The next one is Switched on Pop. A very cool podcast related to arts and culture. This one is hosted by musicologist Nate Sloan and songwriter Charlie Harding. They discuss and demystify pop music hits that we all know about. Very interesting podcast. The next one is a podcast that I'm actually new at. You know, I've been listening to this one only for a couple of weeks and it's called Tape Notes. And this is a podcast that has to do with the art and craft of music production. It's hosted by John Kennedy, and on each episode you will get the producer with the artist talking about the process in the studio, you know, the, the making music process that they used while working and collaborating together in the studio, which is very cool. So if you're into the creative part of music production, you will enjoy this podcast. Now for my last two podcasts, it's actually a mention more than anything else because I actually don't know them pretty well, but I know that a lot of people do. So that's why I want to mention them. And they are on my list for 2021. Both of them are interview based podcast where the host uh, interviews an artist, a songwriter about music production and music making. The first one is called Hanging Out with Audiophiles and the second one is called And the Writer Is. So there you go. Those are my 20 music production podcasts to listen to in 2021. Now I'm pretty sure there's more music production related podcasts out there. So if you want to share some with us, feel free to list them down below. And also if you have any comments or questions, you can leave everything in the comment section below. All right, my friend, this is going to be it for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to share and to like and to subscribe to the channel if you are new here. Until next time, take care and see you.